Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Keegs, back with a brand new video. And today's video, I'm going to be discussing this article that was posted on Screen Rant yesterday. Um, so I'm going to give a bit of a warning here. This article, I, I believe, wasn't supposed to be posted yet because it has some spoilers and it goes into details that haven't happened yet on uh, the show Goosebumps. That we're going to talk about today. We're talking about Goosebumps. We're talking about Slappy because that's the main focus of the article. Um, as many have theorized, uh, Slappy is probably going to be the main antagonist, and it's really looking like that. So, just heads up, uh, potential spoilers here. Um, no idea why they would post this article, uh, before anything has happened with Slappy. But, yeah, it does go into details on what might happen in future episodes. And I'll go into, like, my thoughts on, like, maybe why this was posted. You know, um, after we look at the article. But anyways, with all that said and done, ladies and gentlemen, once again, warning, potential spoilers ahead. Um, I'm putting that in the title. I uh, warned you a couple times, you know, in this intro. I'm going to put it in the description. So if anybody gets mad at me and does some complaining in the comments, that's on you. That's not on me. All right. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, y'all been warned. And uh, let's check out this article. All right, everybody. So this is the article right here from Screen Rant. It is titled "Goosebumps: What Was Harold Bill Bid uh, What Was Harold Bill Searching For?" Read it. So this is like kind of like a summary of the article. The 2023 Goosebumps reboot is a serialized comedy horror TV show that focuses on small town teens being targeted by paranormal phenomena. Harold Biddle, the main character, is searching for Slappy the Dummy, a malevolent doll to restore him to his former glory. While Slappy, while Slappy influences Harold's behavior and manipulates him, both Slappy and Harold's choices contribute to Harold's death in the show. All right. This is basically a summary of like the article. So one theory I've had going on is that like Slappy is kind of one that was in a way responsible for Harold's death. Uh, I believe I talked about that in uh, the review I did. Um, and uh, if you watch the show, you've seen the first five episodes, it becomes clear that Harold is searching for Slappy. You know, we know he's going to be in the show. We know he's going to be a big part of the show. They try to keep it a secret, but that didn't work out. But anyways, let's continue on. The opening episodes of 2023's Goosebumps reboot See Harold Biddle searching for a mysterious item, but the nature of what he is trying to find is not revealed until episode five. Um, that's actually incorrect. You um, you find out in episode four. That's the first time uh, Slappy gets name dropped um, at the end. But yeah, it's a little a little incorrect inf information right there. Goosebumps has been through many incarnations over the years. The franchise started life back in the early 90s as a series of best-selling shows and horror novels. Okay, and this just goes on top of how it became a TV show, you know, in the 90s, spin-off novel series, um, then the Goosebumps movie, then a sequel to that movie, and now we have the 2023 show. Uh, 2023 Goosebumps TV show is different for numerous reasons. For one thing, the show is not an anthology series like the original TV series. Instead, Goosebumps 2023 is a serialized comedy horror that focuses on a group of small town teens and their attempts to work out why they are being targeted by paranormal phenomena. The new Goosebumps also leans harder into the franchise's horror roots than the live action groups of movies. It opens with a teenager, Harold Biddle, being burned alive when a parent prank goes badly wrong. The first five episodes then follow his ghost's attempts to get revenge. So yeah, so in the last episode, I'm pick up this big dude. See, so like in the last episode, we got episode five. We see, from what we can see, uh, the kid's parents broke into Harold's house to get Slappy, um, because they wanted to get rid of him. I believe you know Harold was probably using Slappy. To terrorize the other kids, um, probably being controlled by Slappy and being made to do it. Like, and we're gonna get into that. This article kind of goes into that. But anyways, let's continue. 
the Herald Builder was searching for Slavian Goosebumps. Early in 2023's Goosebumps, Harold Biddle Spirit possesses the body of a high school teacher, Mr. Brat, who inherits the teen's haunted home. Once he has the body again, Harold begins searching for an unspecified object. Goosebumps Season 1 Episode 5, Reader Beware, finally reveals what Harold is looking for. Over the first five episodes of Goosebumps Bond Reboot, Harold unleashes a string of supernatural threats to Isabella, James, Margot, Isaiah, and Lucas so that he can learn where their parents buried his beloved Ventriloquist doll. Longtime Goosebumps fan won't be surprised to learn the doll is slapping. Alright, so just give it information we know already. Once again, I don't know why you've seen episode five, because it's really it's really episode four, but you know. That's whatever. We know what he's searching for. As it turns out, Harold is trying to locate Slappy the Dummy to restore him to his former glory. While every screen version of the Goosebumps series relies on Slappy as a major villain, uh, the new Goosebumps version of the doll is a little different. Now, this, this is where it kind of gets, um, this is where it gets spoilery, okay? So, just another heads up. Click out of this. You don't want to hear it. Don't come whining to me. If you stay and listen, you didn't want to hear the spoilers, but here we go. This adoration of Slappy is a mal- malevolent dummy that Harold discovers in a house his family inherited from an eccentric relative. This relative fell on a Slappy spell years earlier, turning his enemies into dummies before eventually hiding the doll for fear of its malign influence. Like earlier R.L. Stein movies, such as... Uh, 2015's live action Goosebumps. Goosebumps 2023 eventually reveals Slappy as main antagonist. And that's really what it looks like it's going towards. Because the adults um that besides uh Biddle possessing Mr. Brad and you know his ghost terrorizing people, whenever they mention Slappy, um, they have been scared, but everyone else, all the other adults like Nora, uh Margot's mom, Sarah um, even, uh, Isabella's mom, when, like, she, she hears, why well, she kind of seems a little put off about it, but, you know, she kind of pretends like it's whatever, right? Um, they all seem, like, scared. So, Slappy seems to be very powerful in this series. It seems to be very evil. He has the power to turn people into dummies. And we've seen that before in uh, Night of the Living Dummy 3. He did that to uh, uh, Zane, you know, who was played by uh, Hayden, Hayden Christensen, uh, Darth Vader. So Slappy went like toe to toe with Darth Vader. If y'all didn't know that, you know, a little bit of interesting Goosebumps trivia there. All right, is Slappy the source of Harold Biddle's death? Okay, here we go. Whether Slappy directly causes Harold, did I read? Did I, did I skip over anything or anything? Okay, yeah. Because there's some stuff I remember reading, and maybe maybe they mentioned it here. Uh, whether Slappy directly causes Harold Bill's death is a tough question to answer. On the one hand, the doll influences his behavior, manipulates him into betraying his friends, and causes them to resent him. Slappy also convinces Harold to turn his parents into dummies. However, yeah. However it's Harold's friends who would have really caused a fire in his house. And it's Harold who chooses to prioritize his creepy dummy over them. Ultimately, Slappy is responsible for Harold Bill's death in Goosebumps 2023, but Harold and his friends also bear some of the blame. Alright, so, interesting article. What does it all mean? Yes, yeah, so like I said, interesting article. Very, very interesting. Um, confirms a lot of what us were thinking, especially me. Like, we all knew Slappy was going to be the main antagonist. We all knew the fact that they were trying to keep it a secret, you know, kind of tells on themselves a little more. Um, because that's what they were going to do. They weren't going to reveal Slappy until the show actually premiered. Probably not until we got to, like, his episode, which is uh, the one coming out this Friday, Not a Living Dummy. And, uh, but then that poster leaked, and so the cat was out of the bag. You know, maybe I think that was probably like a poster they were gonna wait and release like after his episode released. You know, because they did a lot. We've had like when we knew all we all knew Anakin was probably gonna be in Ahsoka, right? 
we get Ahsoka is episode premieres. They release like the same post that they already released, but now Anakin's in the post, right? It's probably one of like those things, right? Um But the thing is like that I wanna talk about is all the details they go into, like stuff that we haven't seen yet. And I have thoughts about this. Um I think this article was supposed to be posted probably like after like probably after episode six um or episode seven or eight but they don't they don't mention those episodes and the reason i say i'm i say that is because a lot of reviewers uh online critics and stuff there were there were people who got to review the first five episodes the episodes that we that we got to see friday right that were released there was like some online critics they got to review those first five five episodes beforehand I understand that's the thing that happens and everything. They, uh, they get preview episodes, they get to preview episodes and write reviews on them, and then the reviews come out when uh, the show comes out or whatever. Okay, I understand, I understand that aspect. But there was some, a uh, couple like movie news, TV show news sites that got to see like the first eight episodes. All right, so the five that we saw Friday, and then they got to see like six, seven, and eight. So I think Screen Rant probably got to uh, see the first eight episodes before everybody else, and they probably I don't know what what their systems like. I know, maybe they wrote reviews and uh, reviews and articles in advance, and this was supposed to come out like after, but uh, it doesn't explain why they don't mention like any of those episodes by name if that is what happened. Um, why are they talking about things? Um, is it speculation on our part? It might be speculation, you know. Um, that's all I'm going to figure out. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. What do y'all think? Do y'all think this is, uh, spo it's like some spoilery stuff they put in there? Or do you think it's, like, speculation? Let me know, in the let me know down in the comments below. And I'll see you all in the next video.